What up dudes? Today we're in the great backyard, the the template middle of the Ozark Woods. <laughs> I don't know. It's my backyard, but it's it's resemblant of the ecosystem. It is the basically the ecosystem of the Ozarks. It's all this kind of bushes and trees and stuff. And uh we're gonna see if we can't smoke some fish and some chicken today. Um I messed up really bad smoking the chicken last time <laughs> and I know I know why now it was a uh, I smoked it with the skin on um, I'm pretty sure if we're gonna smoke meat we need to get as much of the fat off as possible I'm pretty sure but uh who knows that's what we're gonna find out today I don't expect a like real smoking meat you're supposed to just let it smoke and you know for days on end but we, we don't have days so I'm gonna see uh, if we can cut some chicken up into some thin strips and uh, I've got some sardines I'm going to try and smoke too just to see how that happens. So here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm sure we'll fuck something up this time too. But hey, it'll be on camera and you guys can learn from it. <laughs> so first thing we need to do is get a fire going. Obviously, if we're going to smoke something, we're going to need a nice ripe bed of coals. So I'm going to go work on that. Hey guys. I just want to show you this. I have a lot of people ask me, uh, they're like, how do you use your Becker as a hatchet? Because I say I use it as a hatchet all the time. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just this little lanyard right here. Right? Stick it through your hand. Make the lanyard long enough to, I like to make it where it just rests on that middle finger. And then you have a hatcheting action. It's really, really easy. So, there you go. That's how I use it as a hatchet. It's not hard at all. A uh, lot, lot lighter weight than a hatchet. <laughs> anyway, back to the fire making. <laughs> all right, so we got a very healthy fire going. Uh, everything's kind of wet because it just like poured rain for two days straight, a couple days back, but um, that's gonna work out well for smoking, I think, because we need wet wood over coals. So I've, I've got enough wood. You know cut up for us to go to coals nice healthy amount of coals uh, what I got to do now is rig up a, a rigmarole or a contraption jaption or something uh, to smoke to put the meat on to smoke over that's adjustable in height so we can uh, you know you you want to you want to keep it when you smoke wheat <laughs> smoke weed when you smoke meat at like um, you want to keep it at, from what I understand, about 150, maybe 170 degrees, somewhere around there. So, uh, with the smoke. So that means we need variable height over the fire as the fire changes, right? So, um, I'm going to rig something up and we'll figure out what the hell that is and I'll be right back. So, I probably should have come up with a design before I came out here. The, uh, the old sun is getting pretty close to going down. I don't know how much time we have. We haven't started smoking yet, but uh, I've already fucked up a couple designs. Put my poncho in the fire down there. But this is the one we're, we're working with right here, alright? This is uh, the Wiley Coyote ass setup we got going on right now. It's basically a stick tied to a tree, right? And there's two, two notches tied to the stick, so I can adjust it up and down. As I adjust it up and down, the stick can go up and down, right? And hanging off that, we're fishing, like like Wiley Coyote, we're fishing our poncho. And up inside our poncho, look at that, that's beautiful. See, that's, oh shit, <laughs> that's what we want to see. See all that smoke coming out the top there? That's exactly what we fucking want. So I got the poncho open the top. Like I said, I'm fishing it. You can see these three right here. They go down into, maybe you can see it underneath here. Shit, I'm, I'm gonna die, but up there, oh my god, my eyes. Up there is just a tripod I made. Oh god, I gotta get out of there. Oh, 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 oh fuck, that's gonna work real well, dude. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, uh, that's what I got. That's what I came up with. And I've got uh, the sides of the poncho tied to rocks so I can pull it out and in as I need. So, Jesus, that thing is working bomber. So, now we're going to get some... Uh, Actually, I'm going to make a, a cutting board out of some log I find somewhere. And then I'm going to go get the chicken. And I'm going to hang the chicken from the tripod by some fish hooks. Okay? And I'll, once I get all that cut and set up, I'll show it to you. Uh, I'm not going to do fish, like I said, because I know I won't be able to hang those sardines by fish hooks. If I had real life fish that hadn't been pressure cooked, I could probably do that. But uh, that's going to have to wait till, for another day. So... I'm going to go get the chicken cut up, set up, and I'll be back when I got that done. All right, guys. The shadows are getting long. My wife came out to hang out with me. Say hi, boo. Hi. <laughs> so, um, here's the setup again, like I showed you. Uh, the smoke is it's working really well. You can see it's coming out of the chimney right there. We just got it draped over the fire. Uh, see if I can get under here without choking to death again. <laughs> Show you guys what's working here. Okay, so all I'm doing is just continuing to put green wood. Oh, take a deep breath. On the fire, and you can see it's all hanging down there. Just getting the sh shit smoked out of it. <laughs> and uh, see, I'll hold my breath and get under here. <sighs> see up there it's coming out through the top it's all just hanging there there's the fire just putting green wood slowly smoldering a bunch of green wood and uh as you can see the wind's been shifting a little bit um see if we can i don't know it shifts left and right it's like coming out of here when the winds come it's also going out that side and coming out that side but for the most part you know we're getting some smoking action going coming up through there like a chimney like a chimney so uh, uh all i'm gonna keep doing now is get a book and read it and keep putting green wood on the fire smoking 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 and we'll see how long it takes i don't know never done it before i'm sure i'll be out here till at least gets dark so Look at that chimney action. Look at that good chimney action. So these are these are the type of saplings I've been cutting and splitting to put in there. Um, I've, we have hickory wood around here, so in theory I could hickory smoke some of this. But the best thing I I saplings look way different when they're young than the actual trees do, and obviously there's no leaves. So the best I've been doing is looking down at the ground. You know, here's a hickory leaf. Here's a hickory leaf. Here's a hickory leaf. So, you know, a hickory is somewhere, somewhere around here. Um, I'm gonna have to get good at identifying that because I honestly don't know what kind of smoke. Or, I don't think there's any poisonous trees, and I haven't researched whether or not um, it's cancerous. You know, like carcinogenic smoking meat. I would wager to say it is, but I don't know. So. There's a lot I haven't researched. We're pretty much just we're pretty much just seeing if this works, right? Oh yeah, there's a good picture of it. You can see it. I might get down here. Oh, maybe over here. I can't tell. Can't. It's hard to see the smoke on camera, but the chimney's working. It's coming out of the chimney. Give you guys a pan out view here. Sun's going down, but there's a whole apparatus still smoking. Uh, it's interesting. I know you're not supposed to smoke bird. Like, you don't eat bird raw. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to eat these, but uh, we'll, we'll be able to tell whether or not it smoked it. That's for damn sure. But, uh, still smoking. All right. Forgive the lack of energy. I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> so, we've been out here four hours smoking this thing. The sun's going down. 
I'm going to call it a day and let's do an AAR and see the results here. Lift this all up. So the only time I'd be doing this for the Yule smoking meat is if somehow, some way we came across like a deer, <laughs> you know, and uh, or some massive amount of meat where we'd, we'd probably have to sit like for a day or two to smoke all this meat. Um, I've been peeking at the meat and it seems like it's it's decent, but here I'll show you. Most of the time I'll probably just eat the meat we got. I've been inhaling a lot of smoke today too. Not cool. Alright, there's that one. And up, oh, oh shit. Stay back there. Don't fall on the fire. That's totally going to fall on the fire. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see what we got here. Looks, uh, looks actually pretty good. The outside is very... can't tell if I'm in frame, whatever. <laughs> so the ones that I just laid on top here, they still got like wet spots where the chicken is, you know, there was no smoke getting to it, so it didn't smoke. <laughs> so laying it on top, uh, probably a no-go. However, these look really good. See out there? The, uh, you can see the outside is it's not wet at all. You know. Let's see if we can get another one here. The inside's still wet, like they're not dry or dehydrated by any means. But the outside is definitely hard. <laughs> so if this was gonna be uh I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna eat these because uh I'm, not, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to eat raw bird. <laughs> um, raw other things like fish, maybe red meat. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. The whole point of this was to see if we could smoke successfully. And considering we've only been out here four or five hours actually smoking, uh, I think, I mean, I think we did pretty good. You know, it's, it's really hard. Uh, if for some reason I only had to smoke for four or five hours... Um, I definitely think if this was like deer meat or something, that, uh, it would be good enough to just stick in the pack for sure. Um, it's hard enough to keep, okay, so there's so much smoke on the outside for sure that the bacteria is not on the outside, so you don't have to worry about bacteria. Uh, look at that little spot right there. See, you gotta, you gotta get the, get them all. But um, the smoke, you know, so there's no bacteria on the outside where there's no wet spots. Uh, back to, the meat rots from the outside in. So, and also, if there's any flies or anything anywhere, uh, they're not going to be able to lay in here anymore. So, if we had to, like, cook for four hours and then move for whatever reason, then we should be good to go. Um, you know, that's a piece of chicken. Chicken wouldn't stick out like that. <laughs> Also, these are pretty thick pieces. Obviously, I think if I were to cut them into thinner pieces and do this, it would go a little bit quicker. I think I'll probably feed these to my cat. 
cat's going to have a good meal tonight. So I'm pretty impressed overall. Uh, using just the tools and the yules, we fucking... Oh, oh, oh. Get off there. Oh, God. Oh, God. A bunch of hooks hanging everywhere. That's never good. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to have to cut all this off. Obviously, we will refine the technique as time progresses, but it did. It smoked it. It worked real well, you know? Pretty cool. They definitely, they definitely smell like smoke. So next time, uh, we've proven that we can smoke with the tools and the yules. Next time, I think we'll try... Um, Maybe some minnows or some fish or um, some red meat, I think, would be a good a good try. Uh, but it works, motherfucker. <laughs> it works. That's the whole point. It works. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I got to say. Um... I don't know, I'm pretty brain dead. I haven't eaten anything. So uh stage stage one, can we build a smoker with the Yules? Is it possible to build a smoker with the Yules? Answer yes. Now if we're really gonna smoke some meat, we're probably gonna have to do an overnighter and spend a day or two just smoking meat. Um I think we can you know, these were rigged up really you know, I, I could put a lot more meat underneath there. So if we had like a, a deer quarter leg or something that we, we chopped up in the little bits, I think I think it would all fit under there ultimately. We might have to refine our design a little bit, but whatever. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It worked. <laughs> I'm going to go eat some fucking breakfast as the sun goes down. <laughs> There you go. Smoke it with the yules. Boom.